Hi everyone, this is AppChasers.com and today we're coming at you with our fifth installment of our JW Library reviews here and how-to videos. Uh, this time we're going to be talking about the long-awaited notes feature that has now come to JW Library thanks to the brothers working so hard on this application. So what we're going to do today is look at that notes ability, how to add notes, uh, save notes, review notes, and even how to categorize notes on your iPad so that now you can do a little bit more with regard to personal study for the meetings. So in our previous videos, we've talked about highlighting, um, also about general navigation of JW Library. Uh, so if you want to review some of those things, I suggest you go back and view uh, parts one, two, three, and four of our series here on appchasers.com. But right now we're gonna take a look at our new notes feature. Right off the bat, as we're looking at our life and ministry for this week, uh, you'll notice in the lower right hand corner, there's a new tab next to the meetings tab, which is another one that we've really been enjoying, uh, is this new personal study tab. So if we tap on that, we'll notice that we don't have any notes there right now. So we want to figure out exactly how to add a note. Let's go back to our meeting tab here. You notice I'm just tapping on the lower part of the screen. And we've got our Christian Life and Ministry meeting workbook that has been brought up here. So we've got uh, scriptures that we can tap on. It opens our side panel uh, to view scriptures nice feature like that. But let's also show, talk about exactly how we can add notes. So right there I just tapped on our treasures part and we're looking at the information and some of the beautiful artwork here that's been provided. Now if we want to add a note, let's say we want to uh, prepare a talk or maybe just remember something from this treasures part that we would like to uh, maybe even use later for personal study. What we can do is create a note. So as we talked about before, if you just tap on a word and start dragging on the word, you'll see the highlighting coming up here. Uh, when we stop highlighting, it's gonna give us our different options there. I'll tap on that again. You'll see the colors and now this new icon, which is create a note. So you see that paged piece of paper with the plus sign on it. So that's how we create a note. Uh, and we've got the different colors too. So if we want a note to be a certain color, uh, we can tap on one of those colors that's available. So let's change it to blue here. All right, we'll tap on that again. And now we'll tap on the note feature. Over to the right hand side pane, you'll notice that not only does it uh, give us a summary of what we've highlighted, but it also now has the blinking cursor where we can add our own notes. So let's see um, exactly how we could uh, write a note here about Ebed Melek. So we'll just say, he took note of Jeremiah's uh, situation, let's say, and wanted to help. All right, so there's our note. Maybe that's just, could bring to mind a little bit more that we want to say or that we want to remember about Ebed Melek uh, at a period there. And now you'll also notice we've got in the lower right hand corner of that note box, uh, add a tag. So this is how we're going to organize our notes on the iPad. It's not so much uh, using folders, but it's tagging different notes with subjects or different words that could help to categorize those. So let's go tap on that add to tag there down there. And notice it says no results found. Well, that's because we haven't created any tags yet. So we need to first start off by creating a tag. Uh, maybe we'll call it personal study. All right, so we've added that. Now it says add a tag personal study. We'll tap on that. Yes. All right, so that tag has now been added. Now, the cool thing about tags as opposed to folders are you can add multiple tags to one note. So actually that note will come up in different categories. So we'll say, all right, this one is good for personal study. Uh, let's maybe uh, add it to another one. How about goals? 
is we want to show that same kind of concern that Ebed Melek showed to Jeremiah. So we'll tap goals there, add tag, and now we've got goals added. As we go on in this uh, video, you'll see how these tags are going to help you out with regard to categorizing. All right, so we're done with that. We'll close our keyboard. There we've got our nice uh, pane here that's showing us that personal study point. We can close that back out by tapping on the upper right there, that little arrow. All right, so let's find another, uh, maybe a different subject that we want to create a note for. We'll go over to our watchtower study here. And we've got our study article for this weekend. And let's say as we're studying this, we go here to James. We'll bring up our tap on our scripture there at James, and that's going to bring up our um, side panel again so we can review that uh, uh, scripture there. So now here, um, we can't add a note right in this side panel. So you see if I start highlighting right now, we can't do that. So I'm going to tap above on this where it says New World Translation above the scripture. That's going to bring us uh, right over into our actual Bible here on the uh, JW Library app. So now we can highlight and take a note. So now I'm just going to highlight one word. And you need to do that in order to start a note. So I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to now tap the note button. It defaults to purple here. So I'll say generously and let's see. We'll tap uh, how to build faith or maybe why to build faith with regard to this scripture. All right. And then, so we've got that um, little note there that we've created. Now we're going to tap on the add a tag again. Now, since we have created these tags before, it's going to give us those options. So you see there we've got goals and personal study. So we'll add this one to personal study. All right, and it's going to give us the option to add it to goals too, or we could just say, um, let's add another one called scriptures. Add tag scriptures. All right, so now we've got those two scriptures or those two tags associated with this note. As you're looking at this uh, personal study, uh, or excuse me, this uh, personal study tab or this side tab here, uh, you'll notice that it puts our notes right in line with the other gems that can be found with this scripture. So anytime we come back to this scripture, and let's say we tap on five there, we go to our gems, it's going to bring up that personal study point. So it's almost like uh, writing in the margin of your study Bible. So I really like that. Uh, this side uh, pane here can really become and replace your uh, study Bible by writing right in the margins here in the app. So that's pretty cool. So you'll see all of your different uh, notes saved there. Um, as you're studying the Bible, if you come across a verse in the, in the future that you've written a note about, it'll be there. Now, looking at this note again, you'll notice that on, over to the right of the word generously, uh, right here on the side panel, you'll notice these three dots. Let's tap on that. Now it's going to give us the option to edit or delete this note. So if we tap on edit there, we can keep typing. We can uh, just, you know, continue to add words or different ideas. We can also delete the note too. So we'll do that. We'll tap on delete there. It's going to say this can't be undone. So are you sure you want to do it? Yes. And there goes that note. Okay. So let's then look up another scripture. Let's say we're studying in our Bible. We go to uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. I'll tap on that. And right there, we can just tap on the verse itself and say, add a note. And let's see. We start typing. Where are we typing here? Oops. Oh, there it is. We had to scroll over on the right a little bit. Okay. So let's say, um, I don't know. Uh, let's call this... Um, you know, good part of the last days, let's say, just as an example. Uh, we can add a tag here, and we'll just put it right in our scriptures tag there, and then we're done. So that's that. So next time we go over to 14 here, 
and we go up in the upper left of that right hand pane, we'll see that reference there right under Matthew 24, verse 14. Okay, so let's say we've got all of these uh, different notes here that have been created. Where do we find these all uh, located so that we could come back and view them? Well, again, that's at the lower right hand corner of our screen, that tab down there called Personal Study. So now that we've created different tags and we've got notes uh, under those tags, we'll see them all here. And notice they're the same colors that we used when creating those notes. Uh, we've also got our tags, goals, personal study scriptures up here at the upper left. So if we tap on any one of those tags, it's just going to show us whatever notes we have under that tag. So that's a nice way to sort our different uh, tags here. So if we go to, uh, we did the one for scriptures. Let's tap on this one. And we've got one tag already here. Let's add this to personal study as well. And we'll go back down. Okay, so now you see just by tapping on that one and then tapping down in the upper left-hand corner, we're going in and out of a note. So we can edit them that way as well. But now if we go to our personal study, we'll see them listed here, all the ones that are under that personal study tag. So very nice, a uh, great way to um, view our different notes that we've saved here. And you'll also notice that for each note underneath, you'll see what it's referencing. So for this purple one, a good part of the last days, it's referring, referencing our New World Translation. We can tap on that down there, and it'll bring us right to that scripture. We'll go back in the upper left to Personal Study, tap on the Life and Ministry Workbook for this note, and it'll go right back to that highlighting that we found before. So that's a cool way to navigate uh, through our notes when we go back to do personal study or even make a comment at the meeting. Okay, one last thing about these notes that uh, everyone's really been uh, asking for, and that is the fact or the ability to back up our notes. This is something that's really important because if you make all these notes, and then something happens to your iPad. Uh, yeah, well, where do all those notes go if it, you know, you have to reset or restart the JW Library app, reinstall it. So we've got this backup feature, which is really fantastic. In the upper right-hand corner, you'll notice this cloud icon with the up and down arrow here. So this is going to allow us to create a backup and then restore a backup that we've created in the past. If we go to create a backup, we'll tap on that. You'll notice that it brings up different services that we might have installed on our iPad. iCloud Drive uh, is one that's already installed by default. If we go to more here, we can add documents. We can add Dropbox. You might have Google um, Documents or Google Drive installed on your device, so that would show up there too. So we'll hit Done, we turn both of those on, and now you'll notice that when we go to Backup, we could choose Dropbox, or we could choose Documents. Um, so you could choose any one of those. You know, I like to use Dropbox myself. So let's say I go in here, and it's just gonna bring me to my main inbox, or my main uh, folder here in Dropbox. So. If I want to create it here, I can just say save to personal. It uploads it to Dropbox, and that's it. Now I don't have to worry about it anymore. If I want to restore that backup, I'll just tap on restore, go to Dropbox again, scroll down to where it's saved. Oh, there it is. User backup, JW library right there. Tap that, and it's going to say, OK, we found notes personal study items that are on this iPad already. Do you want to replace those? It'll get rid of what's on your iPad or iPhone right now with what's in the backup. We'll say restore, that's fine. And again, it's exactly what we had before because we just did the backup. But this is not a continuous sync process, at least not right now. So it's not going to you know, just be automatically backing up. This is an actual... Um, engaging thing that you have to do every once in a while is back these up. Uh, and then that restore will be there, but you have to go in there and back it up. 
So that's a general overview of the new uh, features from JW Library. It's really a fantastic update. Uh, really excited about it and are excited to see how you guys are using it. And if you find anything that I didn't uh, highlight in this video, let me know in the comments below. All right, go back and check out our other uh, JW Library or our other theocratic videos that are found on appchasers.com and on YouTube. Thanks again for watching and please subscribe. This has been appchasers.com.